I'm sorry, Professor Dumbledore. This curse is at stage four. You only have six months to live. Hmm. Try to look on the bright side. You're a highly educated wizard. I'm sure you've done something really great with your life. I teach high school. Oh, well, I'll leave you alone to cry. Scalpus badasses. <laughs> Create a money-making potion to fund your war with Voldemort long after I'm gone. Wolfsbane, Fluxweed, 20 packages of Sudafed? Well, this sounds like the dark arts. It's what your parents would have wanted, Harry. I'll do it! Well done, Miss Granger. Your batch is 99% pure. And Mr. Weasley... Oh, no! Ron! The most useless of our trio! Relax, Hermione. Untrained students mixing potentially fatal potions are no big deal at Hogwarts, see? He's per- Oh, my God! Children, have you learned nothing from your annual near-death adventures? Magic heals anything! Makes it hard to care about the consequences, frankly. He'll be good as new! <laughs> I don't think so, Harry. Professor Snape said he wouldn't drink your potions with B. Arthur's dick. Yeah, yeah. Right. Come on. Quick, use the magic words Dumbledore gave us. The, the first taste, taste is free. You know, I always thought the author was attractive. Okay, class. As you know from your reading, a hydra's temperature can only be taken rectally. Any volunteers? Children? By Merlin's Merkin. Uh, Hagrid is going to blow the lid off our entire operation, Professor. I knew hiring a 12-foot-tall mongoloid would bite me in the ass one day. I'm on it. I'm home, Fang. Come here, boy. Fang! I did it! Now I can... Oh, I got hit with a stray shell. Seems kind of arbitrary after such a tightly plotted rise to infamy. Thank you.